Here's where those thieves ambushed me. Is that cloth? Yes, good. Useful. Book of Day Tradis is pretty old. Book. Lucky fetcher. They only ever seem to find musty grain and as it is many things. Courier, housekeeper, poet. But I am no fighter. If I roam about in search of the mirror myself, I'll get eaten. This is why you are here. Find the mirror. And if you see any items the Void Powers left behind, grab them. No, I never said that. Why would you think such a thing? Uh. Don't talk too much. Leave Hezek be and find the mirror. So it, it's a hobby. One magical mirror coming up. I see my mirror. Could be a trap. You get it. <laughs> you get it. My mirror. Is it broken? That run his egg. Capture a lurker. Find a lur lurker seat. Why would Void Prowler brutes keep notes? That I do not know. Because it's, it's like mini boss, basically. People leave trash everywhere, don't they? The mortal keeps Hezek waiting with anticipation. I can stand here forever. You're the one who grows old. But you found my mirror, and that's what matters. I'll use it to track the Void Prowlers. Assuming you found something of theirs as an anchor. Mortals are quite skilled at picking up garbage, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, this fabric tore off a Void Prowler's tunic. I grabbed for it as I fell. We'll use this to track the thieves. This notebook. I knew it! They did follow me from Fargrave! It's nothing. Not every piece of detritus you see on the ground is <laughs> Okay. That's you scrap. don't give Hezek orders? But yes, I'll use this cloth and notebook to locate them. Huh. Hmm. Should have guessed. They went to the obscured forum. Right where I was headed. I bet they plan to trade the secret for their own boon. That's my job. Head south and you'll find the obscured forum. Hard to miss. Look for the books. We'll catch the Void Prowlers there and take back my secret. The mortal knows very little about scoffing. Yes, scoffing uh, is, is my mirror race shows me other of places Daedra. in Oblivion. Usually places I've already been to. This time, I used that junk you found as an anchor to the Void Prowlers. That lets the mirror show me where they went. Better, it's, it's close by. Obscured forum. One of the thieves! You talk to her. It could be a trick. I told him it was a bad idea. Zaval said he underestimated them. But damn, this stings. Our leader pushed us to raid the Forum. Quite the bounty, he thought. I told him the Dark Reeves live in there. They'll tear us up. Now look. Vicious guards. Crazed. Attack on sight. Unless you're a book. You're with the runt. Zaval's still in there. If you go after him... You'll die too. Last I saw Zaval, he ran deep into the forum. Have fun with the Dark Reeves if you go in. Now leave me be, mortal. I have dying to do. <laughs> Mortals. It was a joke. We don't die. This just hurts. I'm ready for a new body. Not personal. He works for Wim. She has the juicy stuff. Valuable. With that and the score here, maybe we get our own fortress. Ah, great. Now get you're here. inside. We're losing time. Now 
how we find that secret. Isaac will let you lead. And I suppose I ought to figure out how to free myself from this crystal. But I have to say, your rucksack carries me to some interesting places. Well, you can definitely say that. See here? The intake chamber. Deposit a secret. Get a boom. Take mouth. Yeah, it's a mouth. So basically, this is a delve. No, no, no. That looks like a library. <gasps> That is pretty interesting that this game actually, in this DLC, uses uh, not static uh, picture framing, but actually moving really slowly. The longer we wander aimlessly, the more likely a swarm of dark reefs tears us apart. This is impossible. I suppose I'll prepare myself for another thousand years of serving Madam Wynn. Now you're giving me orders? Can Isaac ever make a decision of his own? Yes, of course. Let me do as you wish. Hmm. It does appear the leader was here recently. And we might find him in that large room below us. To watch for the dark reefs. They hide in the dark, naturally. The runs here. That's him! He kicked me! Does he have the secret? Isn't here. All the void prowlers are dead, stuck in the obscured forum, and the secret's still lost. I'm a failure, mortal. I let Madam Wind down. She's gonna add more years to my dad, I mean. You don't understand. Secrets want to hide. They change appearance to blend in. As it bets this one looks like a book now because look around we can't find one secret among all these tomes no i'll just have to go back to fargrave no all i see in it is my pitiful face just how madam whim must see me <laughs> wait hold on lost items Yes! How could Isaac forget? Oh, I know a spell. It reveals anything that's lost. It, it's how I met Madame Wim. But I need reagents. Let's see what's useful in a bookstore. Get me a tome shell feather, a glob of mold, red, not green, and, oh right, a quill. Isaac has never had a great memory, but... That should... Everything I listed should be plentiful here. Tome shells are everywhere, so finding a feather is easy. For red mold, it grows in dark corners. And a quill? Look on a desk. I'll uh, stay with you to make sure you get the right things. Did I? I don't think so. As it didn't know, mortals were prone to hear things that were never said. That I certainly never said. And if I had said it, I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> Long ago, before I worked for Madame Wim, I found things. It was my whole existence. Lose something, I'd find it. Mortals summoned me just because they needed stuff found. This spell helped me do that. 
It's been a while, but I'll remember it. I hear the echo of a hall. Should be plenty of space for the spell. Meet Isaac inside. Perfect. My spell will cover a wide area here. Go, Dotto. Bring those reagents here. After so many years, Isaac feels uncertain about this. Do I still have the skill? What if it turns me inside out? Or I fall through a portal into the lap of a Hathacrel? Yes, that's right. And I need to do this. To reduce my debt, of course. I'll need perfect concentration, so don't bother me. Head down into the hall. When I've located the secret, you should collect it. While Hezek knows what he's doing, I might not get this right the first time, so you'll need to be <laughs> patient. I'll call out the location of where I think it is, and you go there and look for it. When you see it, collect it for me. Secret. <laughs> what did Hezek say? I find things. I can't believe you doubted me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a funny goblin. <laughs> it wouldn't have worked without you here. Except I would have found a way. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> no, you hold on to it. That thing has caused me enough trouble. If the Dark Reeves attack us on the way back, Hezek might lose it again. Madam Wim wants me to deposit that secret at the intake maw. That will purchase her a boon of Mora. I need a moment to recover. Go back to the uh, intake room and drop this secret into the intake maw. I'll be right behind you. Such a troublesome secret. It better be a good one. A boon for knowledge. Deposit payment for assessment. Well, the wizard's head! Knowledge deposited. Hold for assessment. No, I do not want to hear Wim's dark Hezek is my most invaluable servant. Much of my power comes from his skill. Without him, I would be lost. Uh-huh. What? It's supposed to be a secret, not a lie. Knowledge assessed and found sufficient. Accept this boon of Hermaeus. Move along. It's true? You get the boon. Ridiculous. Meet me outside, mortal. I'm... I'm done here. I never want to see another book ever again. So, you have the boon. Which means the secret had value. Madam Wim believes what she said. You helped lowly Hezek. Reminded me of my purpose. Even though what I on a mortal embarrasses me. But I'll give you something of mine with great value. Hezek's secret. When my debt to Madam Wim gets too low, <laughs> I'll mess up a job on purpose. The boy prowlers have a clan, yes? Well, I have her. That's it. That's the most valuable thing I can give you. Oh, fine. Here's some shiny whatever this is. Shash of the Subservient. Vivex Duality set. Interesting. Mag magica Stamina Magica. Um, weapon charges over 15 seconds while not weapon swapping. That would be like... Pretty okay for if you swap weapons a lot. But it is more like. It's like fair creep. 
Guardian. Uh, might be useful a bit. As it still resents scurrying around when told to. Still. Alright then, back to Farbear for me. Hope I never see you again, mortal. And keep what I said to yourself. It loses value otherwise. Mortal, you and I are different. Madam Wynne, me, probably most Daedra. We like our secrets. It's what we're comfortable with. You can go tell your feelings to whoever you want. Hezek wants no <laughs> part of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> really fun, fun goblin. I'll, I'll put some lights here. Then again, this construction of this necrom is actually giving me uh, flashbacks from, from the, the Morrowind, the original one. Because Danvers should actually cremate oh, of there. Course. No one enters the necropolis. The necropolis is closed? Who ever heard of such a thing? Something about this. Sorry, friend, but the necropolis is closed today. And by order of the abbot, it seems. We've never turned away the families of the dead before, but if the rumors about illness are true, plague isn't something to be treated lightly. When Prelate Forum and his aides arrived, my fellow keepers of the dead were plagued with a strange malady. I was away when the disease struck, and I haven't been allowed back inside since. The prelate said the abbot ordered the closure, but... Prelate Forum arrived from the temple, and suddenly my fellow monks fell ill. We were never notified of a visit, and besides, Forum isn't our usual prelate. Never even heard of him. So, full play, basically. If you can basically. help, I can make sure you're compensated. I think. Fate must have led you here, friend. Prelate Forum arrived aboard the Stormwing. If you can find out where they boarded the ship, it might tell us something. Talk to the portmaster at the harbor, while I deal with any pilgrims that come by. The Lord of Secrets? I hope not. I mean, I suppose Hermaeus Mora isn't bad as far as Daedric princes go. He's not part of the House of Troubles, after all. But trafficking with any Daedra is dangerous business. So basically, everyone knows that. House of Troubles is uh, for Daedra that are against. Uh... Uh, six walking ways to Godhood, and and they are Molakbal, Dagon, Malakath, and and Seogora. So they are House of Troubles, four corners of House of Troubles, and uh, Danmers really don't like them. They pl plagiate them, but they don't worship them. I haven't seen it firsthand. Prelate Forum says the monks are delirious with fever. Now I'm stuck out here, turning pilgrims away, while everyone else is quarantined inside. I think he brought this sickness to the necropolis, yes. Perhaps he picked it up on the voyage to Necrom. Although neither he nor his aides appear sick. I wish I could ask Abbot Ilvel about it, but Prelate Forum won't let me inside to see him. Maybe? But if it isn't spreading to the Prelate or his aides, is it really that dangerous? I have no idea. This is the Necropolis of Necrom, perhaps the largest and oldest necropolis in all of Morrowind. For thousands of years, families have interred their revered ancestors in these catacombs. It's my honor to serve as one of the keepers of the dead. Yes, we're a monastic order. We keep the crypts in good repair. We help families make funerary arrangements. And we guide those pilgrims who come to visit their ancestors. We never turned anyone away. Until now. I was with Abbot Ilvel when Prelate Forum arrived. I was barely introduced when the Abbot sent me to get tea from the market. I'm worried about the Abbot. He's always been kind to me. He and the monks raised me after... Well, I had no other family. Probably Knahart then. Does that lay about Brandus? Absent again? I never cared for magic. The study of my great culture holds more appeal. Not now, stranger. 
My assistant never showed up for work today, and I've got my hands full directing cargo bound for both land and sea. Lake. That's not a word to toss around lightly. What proof do you have? Look, illness is a part of life when you work with the dead. I'm surprised the Keepers of the Dead aren't sick more often. Plague can be serious, but I need more than your word to shut down the port or quarantine the city. Sorry, I can't let you wander around unattended on a ship under my watch. And since my assistant Randus never showed up for work today, I have no one available to escort you. Without port agent Randus or more substantial proof, I can't help you. Persuade. No, I wouldn't want that. All right. If you're careful and don't touch anything, you can go aboard and take a look around. But if you find anything to verify your claim, I want you to bring it to me immediately. What's going on with the storm wing? Nobody wants to go near that ship. Good question. I hear it's full of skeevers, and it arrived with a prelate from the temple. Interesting. No one's gone near it since the temple priests disembarked. Not even a rat. Probably cultists of some sort. That's my guess, anyway. <laughs> There's, there is always cultists. The ship is haunted. Haunted and cursed. Do we know what's going on? I'm giving that ship a wide berth. Haunted and cursed ship. So this is chunk ship. This is actually Dunmer, Dunmer type of ship. Let's start from the top and go to the bottom. Oh, sugar chow box. Doesn't mean anything, but hey, hey it could be like. Yeah, visited uh, elsewhere and contracted the Knahat Temple there. But we are already suspecting. Peruate Salvation. Well, this is smoking gun. Uh, Peruate is the dead prince of plague. Okay, that's not good. Oh yes, Nahaten flu is said to be influenced by the Peruvian. Okay, that's not good. Then Kindred, Supreme Plague Master. That's a quite a title. I shall pose a temple, temple prelate. Okay, so there's a cultist in the in a necropolis, which is probably quite a fitting place for them. I suggest you grab it. Anything else to say? Did I ever tell you about the time I met Alma Lexia in Firewatch? Uh. It was a summit on the principles of ghost fencing. I think she fancied me, if you know what I mean. Uh. <laughs>
cargo of muck sponge. Least one. Two compassionators at Firewatch. Grenade firearm. There must be some sort of infestation in hold. Crates that the pyrrhite brought aboard. Okay, so yeah, he brought something here. You're back. I was worried maybe you abandoned me. Yeah, do you want to know good, <laughs> if I have good to or turn bad news? One more family. Did you learn anything at the Stormwing about a sickness or a plague? And did the temple really send Prelate Forum to the necropolis? <laughs> Dropping of the bomb here. An imposter? Let me see what you found. I knew there was something wrong the moment I saw the Prelate. I suppose I should call him Blight Crown. What kind of name is that? And what does a devotee of Periite want in the necropolis? All sorts of relics and heirlooms are stored in the catacombs with the ancestors. And with Periite cultists loose inside, Abbot Ilvel and the Keepers are in terrible danger. We need to get into the necropolis. But how? The main door is locked. I don't. Wait! When I wanted to slip out after curfew, I used the cellar that connects to the city's underways. I doubt Blight Crown or his attendants know about it. Meet me in the tunnel behind the necropolis. I think I can get us inside from there. The entrance to the underways is on the west side of the necropolis. You'll find the cellar door in an alcove on your right. I'll post a notice about the closure and join you there. We can't let Periite's cult rummage through the catacombs. You did? Prelate Forum, I mean, Blight Crown, spoke privately with Abbot Ilvel when he first arrived. His attendants didn't speak at all. I wonder what they could be seeking in the necropolis. But what was the hidden kindred doing in Alavalis? This is uh, definitely one high high point of this DLC that these are connected. These events are connected, and you can actually remember that hey, they were <laughs> these guys were all already there. If you want to play these in uh, in a good uh, correct order. Apocrypha. By the ancestors, what does our necropolis have to do with Daedric princes and oblivion realms? Still, there are all sorts of treasures in the catacombs. I'm not sure if the keepers even have a complete record of everything down there. I was orphaned at a young age. No other family. Abbot Ilvel took me in and raised me. He... He's the father I never had. A kind and devout servant of the necropolis, but maybe too trusting. It never occurred to him to question Blight Crown's story. I only have Blight Crown's word about that. I'm not even sure if the abbot and the keepers are really sick. When I returned, the place was already locked tight, and I was ordered to stay at the door and turn pilgrims away. As Prelate Forum, Blight Crown has the authority of the temple. The Necrom Guard would never make a move against a Temple Prelate or the Orders of the Abbot. No. We need to get inside and find the Abbot ourselves. Before it's too late. Not a terrible lot. I'm not an expert on Daedric studies or anything. I know he's the Daedric Prince of Pestilence, the Blighted Lord, the Master of Tasks. Some believe he isn't a very important Prince, but people get sick all the time. People worship all sorts of things. Periite's followers see disease as a blessing. They revel in suffering and spreading plagues. Blight Crown's attendants have pox scars. I should have suspected something when I first met them. Yeah. yeah well, I'll meet you in the underways. One, one problem is that there's like at least three. One, one high ordinator, like two ordinators in this town alone and it's it's not occurring to anyone to ask us uh, tell them about date cultists in a, in a catacombs
The grave singer delivers the final song. Grave, See grave here? stick. Tales of Ditatal's bountiful spirit are carved into the wood. My people hope to guide our dead back to the ash. We all seek to return to the hist. In staking our dead, we ensure they never return as a bog blight. Comparing <laughs> grave habits. I swear, they'll let just anybody into Necrom these days. Doorways. Over here, friend. A rarely used trap door. Just watching. You go first. No one around, just as I hoped. The chapel is through the doorway and up the stairs. Keepers gateway to all kinds of mischief. There may be more to this curate than I thought. He's very observant. Despite being dead. Let me give you some advice. If at first you don't succeed, then teleportation magic isn't for you. <laughs> I uh, will be her oh, her death already. Miri, what are you doing there? We should head for the chapel. If they actually set up a quarantine, that's the best place to do it. The chapel is through the door and up the stairs. We'll need to be careful, though. The false prelate brought a lot of attendants with him. To the right, friend. The door to the chapel is at the end of the hall. Mir restarted. The battle pretty well. Ranks and titles of House Delvani. Somebody's some some years ago said that there's uh, suspected that there's no not the same ranks than in uh, Morrowind uh, to the Elder Scrolls game. So slaves, hirelings, retainers, oatsmen. Bowman, Spellbright, and Moth, specialized form of Oathman. Here it is. It's here it reads. This is what I actually suspected. Bowman, Spellbright, and Oath Moth are specialized form of Oathman. All three groups consider them superior to ordinary Oathmen. Yeah. Okay. And they they, they are act they are actually ranked in in the third game. So Bowman as guards. Bale breaks, middle bow, power mages, telemony modes, holds greater uh, responsibilities. They say more power for ma mages, either wizard masters or magisters. Yeah, I guess this much that they can actually serve wizards. So it's it's funny that you kind of figure out in your own head in your own head canon how these things. Are supposed to work, and then the Elder Scrolls Online DLC is actually confirmed that yeah, it's it's like you thought. Of course, we have like su surprises that uh, uh, 
uh, Saint Warren isn't Warren Dagas, but that's pro probably good <laughs> or better that way. Visat Synchronous has the first rank of true power in the house. Masters, noble mages of great power. Sit on one or more of the ruling house communities. Assembly of Masters. Prestige is Telvani Consort. Yeah, there was this guy who wanted to like play Telvani Master and like boss other people in tavern roleplay. Which is like, yeah, you don't play Masters un unless you want to like. Pre uh, Involve yourself deep into politics and be really powerful. Hortators are rare and usually singular in nature. They can be found in all dark elf houses. High chance non magical rank within Telvani society. So they are appointed, appointed persons. Powerful wallers, talented men, and even ordinators. Interesting that the ordinators are mentioned in Telvani book. World leaders for only as long as the emergency lasts. Hortator outranks the masters, but masters can revoke the power at any time. Interesting. Magisters are most, most powerful of the mages earning master swag. Yeah, and even some people wanted to roleplay magisters. Which is like crazy, crazy, crazy powerful. Archmanic magisters. I didn't know you were interested in that genre. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> Same books. Beverage for beverage. There's actually Elder Scrolls Scoop book, so this might be like recipes like, quite like. What's our Arcanist? System is a Taumaturgy. Okay, so Arcanist is, taumat is Taumaturgy. Taumaturgy was a class of magic that was vanished after. Morrowind, third game. Oblivion didn't have a time to touch you. Arcanist is a time to touch. I like reading too, you know. If you ever need an excuse to get me something. Questions. Um, I know nothing us. of Friar Durdrin's tomb. You leave me be. That's all of them. Let's go check on Abbot Hilda. Abbot, destroy that foul sensor, friend. No, uh, brother, stop. Uh, Fulcrum Obscura. Um, Durdrin's tomb in the lower catacombs. Poor Abbot Ilvel, he's delirious. What did he say about the lower cat? How insidious. Blightcrown made the keepers of the dead sick so he could question them in their fevered state. And also he could find some old relic hidden in the necropolis? Why go to all the trouble? Hermaeus Mora? The Keepers of the Dead have nothing to do with the Lord of Secrets. And I never heard of anything called the Fulcrum Obscura. Wait, how do you know all this? Are you a cultist too? Endangers Nern? 
I'm just a minor curate working in the necropolis. Feuds between Daedric princes are beyond me. Still, I want to help. Finding anything in the catacombs will take time. We might be able to catch up with Blightcrown if we hurry. Hmm. Prior Durdrin founded the Necropolis and our order. Abbot Ilvel idolized him. Told me the Prior was obsessed with Necrom's history, and had received a special charge from Lord Vivek. There's a key to the catacombs in the desk. Hurry, friend. Take the key from the desk and head to the catacombs. The door is through the chapel and to the north. I'll stay with Abbot Ilvel. Do what I can until he recovers. Just be careful. We know Blightcrown didn't arrive at the Necropolis by himself. The ancestors watch over us. I have faith that in moments of need, my prayers will be answered. Although it certainly helps that the sensors were destroyed and that foul miasma is dissipating. I'll do what I can while you deal with the imposter. Since the founding of Morrowind, Dark Elves have interred their dead in Necropolises. Necrom is one of the oldest, maybe the oldest. Here, our people can visit their revered ancestors, seek their guidance, remind them they haven't been forgotten. It depends what you mean by relic. Many families choose to honor their dead by entombing them with trophies or keepsakes. Some of those might be valuable or dangerous, but no Dark Elf would think of stealing from their ancestors. Prior Durdrin established the Keepers of the Dead as a religious order and built this abbey over the ancient necropolis. He lived and died here centuries ago. Hmm, I don't remember that coming up in any of the abbot's lectures. But Prior Durdrin possessed many talents. Legend has it he could command powerful Daedra and resist their lures. And he was given some sort of charge by Lord Vivek personally. I only visited it once with Abbot Ilvel when I was very young. It's somewhere in the lower catacombs, at the very deepest point in the necropolis. Remember, Blightcrown brought the hidden kindred with him. You might have to fight to get there. The door to the catacombs is through the chapel and to the north. Prior Durdrin's tomb is deep inside. Prior's Fulcrum. Into into relic of great power. Tusk of some massive and fabulous beast. Huh. He decided to undertake the prince to help him create this relic. He summoned Hermes Mora, keeper of forbidden knowledge and lord of secrets. No record exists on the, bar the, the bargain struck between Prior and Hermes Mora. So that's that's the information they are actually searching for. Weapon, weapon for Fulcrum Obscurus, weapon for Vivek. Ha! Wait, someone approaches Dovisard. Quick, take the relic! The relic broke. Still, this portion contains the power we need. I leave our guests to you, Blightcrap. The time to hide is over. Behold Blight Crown, most favored priest of Periite. I leave you with a blessing from the Prince of Pestilence.
So it broke down to do two pieces. When I saw Torvasar at Telbaro, he and Shalreni talked about a right. What are they up to? Back. Look, Abbot Ilvel is awake and feeling much better. Is this the one, Gudain? You saved many lives, friend. Come, talk with me. Young Gudain told me of your mission for the Prince of Fate. A strange and perilous ally. But I thank you for saving the Necropolis. We owe you our lives. What happened in the catacombs? Did you find the imposter who called himself Prelate Farah? Interesting. I know Prior Durdrin cavorted with Daedra, but there was no mention of Periite in any of the Chronicles. At least I see that you recovered the rest of the relic. I have no idea what they think it can do, or if it even still functions. Oh, hold on to it, of course. Gadain said that fate led you to us. I can only assume it was because of the Fulcrum Obscura. It must have a role in whatever trials you must face to save Nern. Yes, my young charge told me everything. He does that. Just this. I am in no condition to help you recover the relic. None of the Keepers are. Well, none except Gudain. I will send our young curate with you. Okay, we are gathering people. Search out these villains. Put a stop. To their scheme quite many and recover many the al Fulcrum allies Obscura. actually Laramil the tentacle monster correct wells Gadain go with this adventurer retrieve the stolen piece of Fulcrum Obscura you need to see more of the world. Go. But... Uh, yes, Abbot. I'll do it. Friend, a word, please? He might be a companion. I never traveled far from Necron. Barely left the Telvanni Peninsula. And that was just one trip to Mournhold with Abbot Ilvel. The Abbot has given me a mission, though. And I mean to complete it. Just tell me what to do, and I'll follow your lead. The Necron Bindery? I thought that place was abandoned. Of course I'll meet you there. Oh, and the Abbot authorized me to give you this. For exposing Blight Crown and saving the Necropolis. They got away with part of the relic, but we'll get it back. Mother Morrowind has her eye on you. Your work here is done, Proxy. Still we... Hmm. That dark elf also bears the mark of fate. I shall speak with you momentarily, Kirit. We have examined the threads of fate and learned much. Return to the Necron Bindery and we shall determine our next steps. Talk. What a troubling combination. Of course. Go on, friend. I'll see you soon. What a troubling combination of permutations and crises. I perceive a nexus of... Uh, never mind. We must discuss what we learned at the Necropolis. Tell Rendis and Olivalis. Let us return to my refuge in Necron. This is all so strange. A little exciting, but also nerve-wracking. I'll meet you at the Necron Bindery, friend.